Liberato, why don't you go to your senses? Been a rotten fences for so long now. Greetings and salutations, my librarians, my beautiful, beautiful librarians. I'm Sasha Burning Porn. Sasha Bonanzing. Just kidding. Hi, everybody. I'm Drusifer, aka the King of Wands with King of Wands Tarot. Here to give you your September and October uh, tarot scope. Uh, let's see. I kind of channeled your energy so far. And what we have is the dragon. And we also have, that's funny that we the dragon and I have this like little like candle holder thing that's a dragon. I just got it, by the way. Anyway, um, I pulled, um, and that was off the wild, uh, wild animal spirit card. And then this other one is the, um, uh, Colette Baron Reed, is it? No, no, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Energy Oracle cards by, um, Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay, so um, let's read the uh, dragon one and then let's get into it after. I'm trying to mix it up. Like I'm trying to either do like the tarot first or I want to have something already pre-contrived for you guys so you know that I'm not just spewing stuff out of my ass, even though I probably still am. I apologize. <laughs> already here. So the dragon is a spirit one. I don't know why I'm sifting through if I know. Shut up, Joe. Seeing one's most true self, balancing the ego. Um, no offense, Liebs, but you guys got the hugest ego, and I'm a Leo, and we're told to have like a big ego. Y'all got a big ego. Got a big ego, more than ever ago. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath. And it'll be there until the last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When, dra when dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. You know, the more self-aware, your surroundings, thought-provoking. It's almost as if we're traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even see a glimpse of the self behind the self. That's when you get like so tripped out. You're like, oh fuck, it's just way too real. I need to go back into oblivion because it's just way too real sometimes. Um, the dragon is the the inner fire that on we you know what i mean like the celtics with the little the little flame above their heads it's that inner it's the why it's the it's that fire that you can't really explain it's that gusto it's that passion you know because we know how to do things when to do things but why to do it is so much more of a profound question not to get too prolific on ya. And then the energy cards speak for themselves. You have the seventh chakra. So, I mean, Archangel Uriel. Oh no, this is Archangel Uriel. She is basically the dragon. The door to value right there. I mean, that's... And then woman holding a coin. Use the woman holding a coin, even if you're a man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, uh, basically, it's noticing your own value and taking the time to shut the up and listen to your own inner dialogue, your own inner desires, your own inner moral compass, and your own inner truths, and honoring those things above anything else that you were pre-contrived to or hardwired growing up to learn or become accustomed to it's stripping that all off you know the veil is lifted ready for my close-up mr. DeVille 
You know what I mean? All right, getting into it. Let's do one from the Work Your Light Oracle Guidebook by Rebecca Campbell. Please tell me, Universe, what does Libra need to see for the month of September and October? What messages can I bring to them? Okay, that's too many messages. So what we're going to do. And there go my cards. Just give me one. Give me just one now. Libra. Protection. Call back your car. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. My throat chakra is a little blocked right now. Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Not my throat cords. And soul retrieval. So it's a bunch of these like Jesus looking how do you do you mother son of gunners. And they're all going like this because they're like protecting thyself and thy pack because they found their inner ennui, their inner ingenue, if you will. Um, saying call back your power, because you didn't even know, you thought you were staying in power by honoring worldly things or day-to-day -day mundane things, but you've actually relinquished your power by honoring those other things. So this is to just tell you that you're so much more than that and you gotta really get Back to, to square one, you know. Um, I don't know. Go to the Congo or go to the Peace Corps or something. Or um, Oceanside is kind of like you know desolate. It's in California. Whatever. Anyways, let's get into some tarot and we can uh, uncover this a little bit more. And my throat chakra is really off. No pun intended. Five of Pentacles. To be left outside love. To be left outside love. High Priestess. Yes. Okay, so we have left outside alone. Intuition. Give me some more. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is our resident narc card. So, let's uncover a little bit more because I'm going to need a little bit more because you, you're going through some deep changes. I think everybody's going through, but everybody's got such specific things, you know. There's a lava involved, or a business partner, or a best friend. But usually I take the two of cups as another lava, or a really close drinking buddy. Okay, got the chariot. Let me pull out two more. Give me one more, please. What does Libra need to see? Alrighty here. Seems in the past. It was touch and go for a minute. We had it, we were just resting on our intuition and our intellect, working through the mind, forcing ourselves to feel what we were going through, but we were just thinking about how we wanted to feel when it was going on. We weren't really letting our emotions take over and take control like we should and that's when we really feel satisfied whether it's good or bad that we actually lived it and we experienced it not played a role on some bad made for tv after school special you know what i mean um and then in the present you have, you have the two of cups and i love this two of cups this is why i got this deck because they have this black cloud behind them 
and the chick is kind of, they're both looking at each other like, the dude and the chick, they're looking at each other like, ah, oh, you fucking asshole. Like, I guess there's nobody else out there. It's just, you've used all your coupons and all you got left is me. All right, the chariot. The chariot, I would say, to note you're currently going through, it kind of reminds you of the Six of Swords, you know what I mean? And then you have the Nine of Wands. I mean, come on, couldn't have, can't write that stuff. Nine of Wands indicates you're battered, you're bruised, you're last of the Mohicans. You are the last motherfucking Mohican. Um, and in the future, you have three of swords upside down, which I guess is overcoming a heartbreak. The full card, which is spreading your sea legs again, spreading them wide open. And then we have the eight of wands, but the eight of wands is upside down. And what I'm guessing is, is that it's gonna take a time. It's gonna take a whole lot of thinking. I got my mind set on you. Hopefully I can sing now without having the rights reserved because they took down another one of my videos because I had the music thing in the background. But I think I can sing whatever I want, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, to sum it up for you, to um, you have the Queen of Wands here on at the bottom of the deck. So this is where this is stemming from. It could be a mother figure. It could be a baby mama drama. It could be a sibling. Or it could be yourself. Um, it is upside down, so maybe it was the perspective. Because if you think about it, the Queen of Cups upside down. I mean, if you put her right side up, she'd have like a margarita and floating in the, in the infinity pool by the ocean. Like this, like, like a buoy. But you put that bitch upside down, she wets her weave. She spills her drink. She don't know what's going on. She sees people's assholes, you know what I mean? But you put it right side up and boom, it's like butter. But it's her perspective that I think, I think this whole thing is about perspective. Um, when you meet your maker or you answer to your higher power or whoever's resonating in your own head uh, it's not gonna be something you made up it's gonna be something far wiser far more feeling far more profound than you could ever even grasp a milla seed to think so anybody who has some sort of intelligence knows that you can't fool that. You have to live as truthful to yourself as possible because not doing it would just suck. So if you want your life to suck, then... Anyways, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get off on a tangent. It's just, uh, this is all about perspective and I didn't want you to think that I was saying that because I, I was trying to go for the easy thing. What I think more specifically is that People talk shit, so they need to get hit, like right here, because like the Page of Swords denotes like rumor mills and everything, and you'd have to be the the detective being the high priestess, you know, feeling your way through intuitions, and there was a relationship, and there was a rescue mission, and then you were on the battlefield, then you got your heart broken, then you started over again, and then it's taking forever. Um, this is just one whirlwind of dynasty or days of our lives general hospital up in this bitch but I say make a screenplay out of it if anybody can do that and multitask and do it it's Libra anyways uh, hopefully this resonated for you um, if it didn't I am so sorry try checking your moon or your rising sign once again I am Jucifer from King Wands Tarot Please like, share, subscribe if it did resonate with you. Okay? Love and light.
Bye, guys.